Today, the EAA decided to take time from the sights and sounds of the air shows to say thank you to a special group of people. Local 5's Robin Oguinier was there for the excitement as 130 veterans returned from a trip to Washington, D.C. And she joins us live now from Oshkosh. Robin. Aaron, Tom, we know that the Vietnam War was a controversial and an emotional war. Many of the veterans who fought in it said that they felt shunned when they got back home to the States. But today showed that the tide has turned and these veterans finally feel appreciated 43 years after the end of Vietnam. When they came back from Vietnam, they, they really felt like, boy, I served my country, I did my time, I did what I was asked to do, and yet um, we were, you know, booed and frowned upon and all kinds of demonstrations against them. This finally is some recognition for them. It was a welcome home celebration, a long time in the making. When I came home from Nam, I had no welcome at all. We uh, had to take our uniform off and put on our civilian clothes. I came home from Vietnam and I was spit on. Today I was heaped on with love and affection. Different world, different world today. Many of these veterans took plenty of flights during their time in war, but never one like this. A trip that reminded them of the past, but would bring them back to the present. Just uh, seeing the, the uh, Vietnam Wall uh, and many of the other monuments there and uh, meeting a lot of new friends. Never been exposed to anything like it. Um, I mean, it's just very moving, very emotional. Um, I saw one of my comrades on the wall this morning. Uh, he's been dead for 50 years. He was killed in 68, Michael James Kelly. And it's just, just an incredible experience. And it wasn't just a moving experience for them, but for their families. I'm very thankful that he even thought about going because he hasn't been wanting to think about Vietnam for a long time. Ladies but this celebration, so long in the making, was one fit for a king. They treat us like royalty, and I don't know if I deserve all that, but... You are royalty. But, uh, kind of spoils the veteran a little bit. <laughs> The veterans left around 6.30 this morning. They were able to visit several war monuments, including Arlington National Cemetery. And the best part, they didn't have to pay a dime for it. All the funds were raised by nonprofit organizations. Live in Oshkosh, Robin Oginye, Local 5 News.